A French court has ruled that an advert in the town of Béziers did not promote violence against women. The posters promoting the arrival of high-speed trains show a woman tied down to train tracks with a caption reading, with a TGV, she would have suffered less. That's the high-speed train. Now, the campaign came four months after a woman was tied to rail tracks by her husband and hit by a train in northern France. But uh, Béziers' uh, far-right mayor, Robert Ménard, defended his campaign in a tweet saying, must we also ban the thousands of depictions of femicide in cinema, cartoons and music videos? Now, although that advert was deemed legally acceptable, a string of others in recent months were controversially banned. This advert for a dating website matching younger women to wealthier older men was banned from Brussels for inciting prostitution. The minister who imposed the ban described it as, quote, pimping 2.0. In September, Sweden's advertising watchdog deemed this viral meme gender discriminatory after internet service provider Bahnhof used it to promote their job search service. And the British Ombudsman faced a storm of abuse for banning this ad, which it said was too political. It uses an animated orangutan to highlight a UK supermarket's decision to divest in palm oil, a product said to contribute to the endangered ape's declining numbers. They're burning it for palm oil. All right, joining me in the studio for a closer look at this is Laura Shields. She is a PR and messaging expert and the director of Red Thread Communications. We have Serpa Petikainen, a Finnish MEP from the National Coalition Party, part of the EPP group, and Lukas Boudé, who's the director general at the European Advertising Standards Alliance. All right, I'd like to go back to the, uh, the French ad. Where do you, Laura, where, where do you stand on this when you, when you look at this, this advertising? Well, when I look at it, I'm personally horrified, but more because I think it's crass and insensitive in light of the murder that took place of that young woman in recent months. In terms of the ban itself, or the attempt to get it banned because it was inciting violence to women, I'm more neutral on that because I'm not sure that it does. But what I do think is that the, the mayor has been able to game this absolutely brilliantly because not only has he had the primary benefit where everybody, that everybody now knows where this town is, who he <laughs> is, and also yeah. that the TGV goes there, but on top of that, the outrage factory means that he suddenly turned this into an identity war where, you know, between gender, you know, the, I think he called them that it was inquisition by petticoats. Mm. You know, he's turned it into political correctness gone mad. And the PR hit that he's getting from this has created a massive ripple effect. Is this, is there a legitimate argument to what the mayor was saying that, okay, should we now start banning everything else? Well, this is what the populists usually say, but we all uh, recognize bad taste and a good taste, human rights and non-human rights when we meet them. And uh, so far, quite often the self-regulatory mechanism in advertising has dealt with that, sort of uh, internally setting the uh, limits, uh, what you do, not do. But once in a while, they go over the board. And then, yes, I think that we should intervene. And this is actually, uh, that is not an excuse that someone has had a bad that happens before, yeah. uh, and I think that that was a correct decision. Well, the decision. court has said it is legally acceptable, but from the advertising industry, do you think there are points like this where, where it is pushed to, to, you know, it goes beyond a limit that is acceptable? So I think these two things. First of all, this public upfront a specific case because through social media, we talk, and talk more and more about specific cases. But in general, there's existing self regulatory rules that date back to over 80 years that regulate exactly this kind of, of topics. And in this specific case, if I'm right, it's actually the French self regulatory organization that took a position in it, and actually based on the fact that political advertising is out of its remit. So it's not the court specifically. Uh, so do you think that it is the advertising industry who, who should police themselves, or that uh, or governments have a right to, to say, wait, this is too much? So the ad industry is already effectively policing itself. Here it's not specifically in the remit of the ad industry's uh, area. Mm. Because it's political advertising. So you think that governments, it's, is it the government's place actually to be uh, doing that? It is actually, uh, when it is advertising, it is, and I think it should be on the remits on advertising. And as long as it functions well and it uh, self-regulates and reacts on uh, cases that should have not uh, happened uh, and that goes uh, well with uh, advertising with children and stuff like that, we do not. Uh, need any more harsh regulatory actions. But if that fails, 
then we do need that, but it, it's always uh, more difficult to police it uh, later on in court and, cases. And Laura, to the point that you were making, that the, the banning of it actually helps the cause of people who want to get attention. Well, absolutely. I mean, you also showed the palm oil uh, yes. ad. So, you know, that was banned, but everybody now knows where that is because they were able to put it out on social media. But people were angry that it was banned. So this people, was well, like this the precise, reverse of the... This is yeah. precisely, the, precisely the point, is then you're gaming it. So there's a, right. there's a ripple yeah. effect. So it's the one-two punch. The first one is that you try and you create... The story then you get the story banned now i'm not saying that was deliberate by any means but you feed off the uproar that goes with it so as a result of that it actually makes much more publicity for the story in question i mean greenpeace has been very effective at doing this in part mm. the past they've clashed with nestle on this so this example. is an actual strategy that people use you push it is it i'm not too much to the point I'm not saying it's deliberate in this case, but okay. it's a little bit like when Lady Chatterley's Lover first came out. That was banned and book sales went through the roof and people were suddenly, could, you know, people started talking about it. And there was the court case for, uh, I think they banned it for being obscene. So this is part of the, the challenge around it, is that if you want to contain a story, don't ban it, don't shut it down, because actually you have precisely the opposite effect. So, th so this is not a question of freedom of speech versus censorship. This is not, is this not the, the, the discussion that's supposed to be had here? Mm, it's a part of it, but I think it's more of this, and we know that there's e even more competition about our t time in social media and uh, press, and uh, so advertisers are uh, trying to get our attention, and that is the risk that it sort of uh, pushes this kind of uh, advertisement, sort of uh, testing the limit, because then you have a shocking effect, you, everybody talks about, you get the notice, and it sort of uh, triples mm. the effect, and that is the self-control that actually that? should contain in that kind of a phenomenon. Do you find that in the industry, that th th there is a push to push the limit? Well, I think that most of the advertising is truthful, legal, honest, and decent. Here, there's a few cases that we take out and make noise around it, but overall, the industry is committed to ensuring responsible advertising. For example, they, uh, our network handles over 65,000 complaints every year, mm -hmm. 80,000 ads actually pre-cleared, or these opinions rendered before they go out. Mm -hmm. So these are checks and balances throughout the process. And some... But I think... Yeah, go ahead. So some examples can be pulled out, but overall, I would say these systems that are in place think, and are efficient. And I think that's very interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Look. Well, no, all I was going to say was that, that I, I think... Give me the last word. Well, I think what's interesting in this is that you, you talk about several ads that have been banned, and sometimes it seems to me that the criteria, okay. the, the, when they get banned, it's not clear why. You know, what yeah. makes something political? I'm not sure that we ever really know, you know, who's deciding where, who what draw, Yeah, and where now. do you draw the line? I mean, that always is the question, where is the line?